stage. You're back one year later. One year later. A little over a year. Last time you were celebrating your 17th birthday. Was I really? You were, or like it was, well, when it aired, you were celebrating oh, your 17th birthday. Okay. <laughs> you're ruining the, the image of TV land here. I'm sorry. Yes, but now you're 18. You yes. can vote. I can vote. You can vote. That, that's the new change. Yes. But is. also, you have a new record out. I do. Dying for a heart. Dying for a heart. Tell me about this record. Okay. Well, of course, it's a year more of maturing and, you know, as a songwriter and as a person and stuff. And so. Which um, you obviously can tell from, like, Beauty of Grace, something that wasn't really on the last record, something of right. that style, and it's now the, the hit single. Totally. And it's just kind of one of those things where, like, you know, at first when the idea popped up, it was like, you know, kind of because it's like, well, but I like to do rock songs yeah. and stuff. But then it's like, you know, I noticed that there's a dire need for something like that. And it's always fun when, you know, you have a band that, you know, you like to listen to and you're so used to them rocking and yeah. stuff. But then they put in that, you know, that pretty ballad or whatnot. I think it makes a big difference. And you definitely still rock it. <laughs> you, you put the Crystal Myers touch on it. <laughs> Just like that. Okay. <laughs> and your, your last album, I guess, what is uh, kind of the, the changeover, like you said, the maturity? Is it still the anti-conformity message? Yeah. You, you left that behind her. No, I'm just kidding. No, no, no. no. <laughs> it's still in there. Whatever. No. <laughs> yeah, anti-conformity is just basically kind of carried on through songs like, you know, Stand and Scream, which talks about, you know, finding your voice and being able to, you know, stand up and actually speak about, you know, what do you believe in? Mm -hmm. And, you know, what, what are your morals? Or what is it that you want to talk about instead of, you know, letting people walk all over you and it's like, oh, your opinion doesn't matter. Because it does matter. It's yeah. about, you know, not living in that silence and stuff. And... And so, um, you know, there's that song, Anti-Conformity, and then um, then there's songs like The Situation, yeah. which are kind of more specific uh -huh. um, when it comes to, you know, what anti-conformity, you know, can be played into yeah. a certain situation. And Very cool. And uh, Japan. Japan. Japan, huge. Boom. Whatever. Hello, explosion. Boom. <laughs> Konnichiwa, doka. Exactly. And you took the number one spot. Uh, away from the Red Hot Chili Peppers. Congratulations. Thank you. Congratulate her. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. How's it been like traveling in Japan? It's been really cool. Um, well, the flight is like a 13-hour flight. I'm about to go back November. F well, no, 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 no. Soon. 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 <laughs> I messed that up, Logan. <laughs> oh, it, oh, it's fine. You're going back sometime soon. I'm going back. Well, you might be there right now. Actually, I just got back from there. <laughs> you just got back from Japan. It was fantastic. Yeah. There was Thank a lot you. of Nintendo and a lot of Hello Kitty. Yeah, exactly. Uh, and like buses that have like the Is that really? Because that's just my image no, of Japan in no. my head. It's Hello Kitty Mario. It totally is. And like the buses, you, like just normal buses, you know, that you ride around on like a Greyhound or something, you know, it's got a dog's face. <laughs> On the front, it's like orange, it's got like dog ears and like a dog face, and then it's got little hopping frogs on the seats, and you're like, where am I? Okay. <laughs> you're in but Mario. You're in Hello Kitty Mario. Land. Hello Kitty Land. Yeah, <laughs> but it's really cool. I mean, it's just, it's a lot of fun. I will try anything when it comes to food, too, so I love sushi, I love all that sort of stuff, and... See, it's, it's I wish time. I had known that before, because then we would have just set up something. This is the part where you're like, oh, you will eat anything? Well... <laughs> we got. Dude, I would have eaten something, Logan. Well, well, next time. Okay. 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 And you would travel to Japan, lots of cultural differences, obviously. Mm -hmm. But there's also a specific, I guess, uh, a letter you got. Recently. Yeah, yeah. Um, I guess it's kind of the really encouraging factor of, you know, being over there and stuff. Because I am mainstream over there. And out of 100 million people, only 1% are of the Christian faith. And right. so it's kind of, well, it actually really is deprived of, right. you know, Jesus sure. Christ and stuff and, and the gospel. And so... You know, I'm over there doing my thing, and I get a letter from um, this one girl who is about 21, and she wrote saying that, you know, first starting off, she loves my record and all that sort of stuff, and then she goes on to say that um, that she had been in a mental hospital for a long time just out of um, the fact that she's clinically depressed. And um, she cries herself to sleep every night, and, um, you know, it's out of loneliness. And so ever since she got my record, she started listening to it every day. And, um, and I guess it slowly calms her down, as she said. And she said, you know, there's cultural differences she knows. And, you know, she doesn't know about everything that I'm talking about. She doesn't understand it all. But, um, but there's a power behind my music that just fills her with peace. And every single letter that I've gotten over there, it just, you know, that's kind of the common theme and stuff. Is it's just, you know, it's, it's just awesome because, you know, I can be a Christian over there and you know it's affecting people and you know it's just God's just using me as you know his mouthpiece and 
And so it's just, it's rad. I love it. It's great. And uh, so, yeah, Dying for a Heart. It's out right now. You're going to play another song for us? Yes. Which is? Collide. Collide, which was, which was the first single. Yes. And uh, yes. it did very, very well. So everyone will know it. They'll sing along at home. They'll sing along at home. Maybe we'll put like a bouncing ball. I like that. I like, ball, that. I like ball that. You like that? Okay, I like that. We'll, we'll work on that. All okay, right. Dying for Heart's out right now. Sit, sit down for a second. This one, because we got to do the pull away. We got to do the pull away. Oh. We'll be right back when we fake talk. All right, we'll be right back more. More from Crystal Myers. Right now. Thanks.